Okay, so what does the book mean to me? I think, I mean, that book is, I don't know, it's like this huge, like, accomplishment for me. Um, Personally, writing my story alone, that's like something crazy for me. Um, So that, to me, is a good accomplishment. But the book overall, I think it is, I don't know, I'm so excited for it. So I'm excited that different members of Bind is sharing, willing, and letting me share their story, um, writing their story. That alone is amazing. I I love that these people that have, you know, haven't had that opportunity yet, or maybe are barely feeling ready to write their story. I'm so happy for that. So that I'm excited for. Um, and then for their art, I don't know. I'm, I just think it's amazing that they're sharing their stuff. So I think overall for the whole book, it's a huge accomplishment. And I'm excited that this is going to be getting to different people um, to learn, to learn. And really, I hope feel what is being described in these books and what is being shared in this art and these poems. And I'm also, again, to the accomplishment, I'm so excited that different um, members from Bind are really sharing their second or their language. Um, We have books in Spanish, and I think that is amazing um, that it's going to be accessible for other people that have their main language um, being shared. And then the poetry. I'm so excited for the poetry, too. So... The poems, I love the words that were being used um, that can really describe how they felt. You know, sometimes we do not, and by we, I mean me, <laughs> uh, do not have that that um, that ability I, at that moment. Sometimes, like right now, it takes me a couple seconds to remember exactly what word I want to use. So having a poem as your main form of explaining your um like your experience that was amazing Uh, art and poems is your other form of language not just writing so that was great um so yeah a huge accomplishment that's what it means to me i think everyone needs to buy this book so one simply this has been a huge work to be doing um to collect these stories but also for people to be writing their stories for people to be doing their art and challenging themselves to share their vulnerability to other people like me i mean they've only known me for less than a year and they're sharing something so vulnerable as their story as their art their first time doing a poem in their own language that was that was like a huge reason why people need to buy these books but other than that i think that people that have had brain injury and feel like they're not the only ones in the world that is important but also caregivers and i mean that by their friends their family members their partners knowing that how can i help or what do i do so that i can really be there in whichever form is the most necessary in whichever form that they need to help them heal to help them go through their rehabilitation to help them go through their days because for me it's been three years and i still need it and there's members that um, you might may be reading their story that it's been, I don't know, 12 years. So it is very different and it's a, it's a very long journey, a lifelong journey. So I think those um, caregivers uh, should be reading and getting these books. Other than that, I think that um, all of the therapists... They already have a lot of experiences um, being the um, the therapists of 
the rehabilitation occupational therapist, speech therapist, um, educations, like all of those amazing people in our lives. I know that you guys get it in college and in your masters and your PhDs. I know you get it. Um, but honestly, I've been um, meeting all of those that are still getting their PhDs and their masters and their bachelors. Like, and they're, you guys are like, and wow, like that happened. Yes, yes. And every single person is very different. So me alone, just being part of uh, the, uh, the clubhouse bind for one year, it's like every day I learn. So take it. It's a beautiful book. Um, and just read different people's. And maybe when you meet someone or meet me, <laughs> you'll know what happened and you'll feel more connected to those people that you're there for. Um, especially all of you guys that are in hospitals. Sometimes like you only see those on like the really, really bad days. And maybe you'll know that once your, your patient leaves the ICU and goes on to rehabilitation in two years, you'll feel so accomplished too, to see those people that you only saw for like the really terrible couple months until a couple years later they're writing the story and you're part of that thanks so everyone everyone should buy this book um also there's just beautiful art and it was a lot of work so again to the accomplishment of bind um producing this book and publishing it so that's that <laughs> so um brain back to life Cerebro la vida. I, that um, name of the book was a, um, and uh, the name of the book was just completely thanks to all of the members um, to choosing that title. So that title alone, I think that it just completely describes that whole book. So, brain back to life, you know, and Cerebro La Vida. Bring it. Bring it back to life and celebrate life overall, but switch it back to our minds. So, buy it, enjoy it, and I hope you love it.